Yo, how you guys doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm just gonna talk about things I just don't get, like I just don't understand. It might become a new series, it might not, we'll see. Even though literally I have like a, a ton of other series on this channel. Which if you haven't noticed, I'm making a lot of part twos to these series that I've started and never went back to. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is the uh, Hawk Tua girl. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, you, you guys know the meme. With that being said, I think it's one of the most stupidest memes ever. I don't really understand why it got as popular as it did. Like, compared to other memes that have, like, a funny little, like, catchy sing, I guess. You know, like the I, I like, like turtles. turtles. Or when did you like to know, like Weather, Boy? Weather Boy? You know, those are actually funny. The Hawk to a girl. It's just not funny. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it up. Like, is it because we're so deprived of the next meme? Is that what it is? Or does it make any, like, catchy, silly saying? The like, next big thing, I guess. Even though it's really not that good of a meme. But yeah, apparently the girl who made the meme, I guess, was working at a factory. I don't know if it was like right after she quit school, but but she quit school for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if she quit school because it just wasn't for her or she just wasn't smart enough. And oh my God, that was such a tongue twister. <laughs> That's every so many attempts. I don't know if she quit school. If it were, oh my God. I don't know if she quit school. If it, oh my God. But yeah, it seems like as soon as she got famous, she just left her job. She was just like, nah, I'm out of here. Which, she did this, by the way, with no plan at all, okay? I don't think she even had a managing team when she quit. She didn't have no social media set up, no merch, no direction to make her own content. I think the more smarter thing to do is get all that stuff set up and then quit. Because if you do that, then now you have a greater chance at being successful. But no, she just saw like a little bit of success was like, all right, I'm dipping. <laughs> And I just don't understand like why she's not really capitalizing on the success right now. Cause I think finally just recently she just got merch, which I don't know if anybody's gonna wear that. I swear to God, if I see any of you guys walking around with the Hawk Tua shirt on, just know I'm gonna slap you. But the only thing I see her really doing is just going on podcasts, like talk shows, which is fine, but we're relying on this meme to turn into a career. So why haven't you started social media yet and promoted it in this podcast? It does not make any sense at all. Like, trust me. Your meme is not going to last forever. Capitalize it on now. I honestly give it like a couple months. And that's being generous because it already seems like the meme's dying already. Alright, so I did some more research and I found a TikTok account. But it says fan page in the bio. So now I'm confused. Is this her account or not? I genuinely cannot tell. It's, it seems like her account. I'm just going to assume it's her account. I don't know why she's like marketing it like that. And if it's not and I'm wrong, then I will. But let's go through some of her TikToks. There's one more thing that's really pissing me off. Any of you selling or purchasing merchandise online, it's not from me. It's not approved by me and it's counterfeit and I'm not making a damn dime off of any of it. But I just hired a manager and I hired an attorney. So we're coming for you. You know, I get it, okay? You had this funny little saying that you blew up from and now people are selling your funny little saying on uh, shirts and stuff. Like it's not really fun to watch people make profits off of your saying. Like I, I, I understand. But with that being said, you also have to realize that uh, people are going to capitalize off of your saying if you don't do it first. But guess what? Even if you do it first, they'll still capitalize off of you. Probably not as much because there's actually official merch, but that's why you got to trademark it. But you, you also made a deal with someone who is also capitalizing off of your saying. <laughs> what is it, girl? Do you not like people selling Hawk to a merchandise or not? Or do you not care as long as it makes you money? of your merch but it wasn't it was like you signing hats is that your account well it's not really my account but the guy that i let do hats for me he was kind enough to ask if he could sell them so i was okay oh, with okay it. and he split all what he's made off of it with me and he just went out of his way just be good to me which i'm no expert but if he gave you like 50 percent of profits from just your saying that that that's actually a pretty good deal okay that doesn't really happen in this industry so <laughs> that guy must be a really good guy all right, everybody's favorite time, the comments. I wonder what people are saying about the Hawk Tua girl. Hawk Tua meme is already dead, bro. What's not dead? It's a low taper fade meme. It's still massive. And I'm seeing new ones every day with millions of likes and views. All right, Ninja, calm down, bro. Crazy is that that low taper fade, like, meme is, dude, it is still massive. You know, if you think about it, I was making fun of him for dragging the meme out. It actually did go massive. Again, fall off needs to be studied. I mean, her fall off really hasn't happened yet, but I could definitely see it starting to fade out. I just really don't see a world where the Hawk Tua girl becomes like a 
popular influencer because it really seems like she has like really no idea what to do with her content well, like right now it's pretty easy to make content you know talk about the hawk to a meme do q a talk about merch you know that kind of stuff but when people start caring about that stuff what are you gonna do you know we've seen this before someone gets popular for memes so they start doing content and the content ends up being boring because all they know is that meme put the fries in the bag now this meme is losing its meaning every single day like bro she is making a bag off of this meme this has to be like a government plan thing all right guys i think we found our next einstein all right so the reason why this comment said this whole meme is government planned or whatever she went on a podcast basically saying that she doesn't like trump and thinks he's disgusting um i have a game that i want to play with you guys what is that makes me nervous <laughs> no, it's not that scary i promise it's called huck to a or not nah. uh, donald trump no, absolutely not. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It's a no for me. <laughs> and now everybody thinks that the government planned this. Some people are just not smart, I swear. But yeah, I think that's it. This might be one of the dumbest videos ever filmed. I didn't mean to go on a six minute rant about the Hawk Tour girl, but whoops. I meant to talk about other things that I don't understand. But I guys had a lot of opinions about the Hawk Tour meme and how stupid I think it is. Anyways, that's it. Like the video, subscribe, do all that great stuff. And uh, go follow my second channel, it's been blowing up right now.